Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have a super exciting review today. Literally, this palette launched yesterday, guys. I am so hot on the ball. It came 10 a.m. UK time. I paid for this bad boy and it came this morning, which is mad. It came so, so fast, so I really can't complain about the postage. So for those of you that don't know, this is the Be Perfect Cosmetics collab with Stacey Marie MUA on Instagram. She is a huge, huge makeup artist. I follow her and so do thousands of other people. Her talent is incredible. She comes out with some of the most perfect looks ever. So this is the Carnival palette and it just says a collection of eyeshadows, shimmers and glows. Stacey Marie Makeup Artist. The palette retails for £39.99 so it is more of a pricier palette. And I paid £3.75 postage and I begrudge paying postage for products that are so so expensive. But guys this came super super fast so I'm super happy about that. Before we get into this review, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already guys because you know it means so much to me. Yeah. The palette itself consists of 17 vibrant matte shades, 7 high pigment shimmers and 2 highlighters slash shimmers. So all together the palette comes with 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 26 um, pans and then when we open up the palette itself it's actually really really big, it's like bigger than my head. Um, and it is just that thick. It is definitely a thicker. If I compare it to the Subculture palette, you can see there is a pretty big size difference. Then when we open the palette itself, it's got a good like rectangular, good, quite decent sized mirror. And then it obviously comes like this. Now, I actually love the size of this palette and also it's got a little bit of weight to it as well, which I do really like. So the two shimmer slash highlight shades are Saint and Sinner. I will say Saint is quite a subtle highlight. I am wearing it now. I will show you later on in the video. And then Sinner is ever so slightly too dark for me, so that would make like a really good eye shimmer pigment. But I did use it a little bit just at the top of the cheeks. I'm just going to go ahead and swatch the two highlights for you. So that one is Saint and that one is Sinner, the darker shade is Sinner. So Saint is definitely a more like subtle sort of pink highlight and then Sinner is more of a golden highlight. So I'm just going to go and swatch some of them. So I will swatch ones that I haven't used because you can see them on my eye. So I'm going to swatch Funky. Um, you can see there's a little bit of fallout there when I swatch that. Um, I'll swatch Hustle which is a shimmer shade. Queenie, which is another shimmer shade, and then I'm going to swatch Mint, and I will swatch Sky. I swatched them so awkwardly, didn't I? So I'll swatch Guilty, I'll swatch Naked, Basic, and Envy. Naked is a really nice like um, cool tone transition shade which you don't really see very often. I'm just going to swatch a couple of the shimmers as well. Where you can actually, I really want to swatch this recharge. This blue looks beautiful in the pan. Oh that's so nice, that's a shimmer shade. So there is some swatches. Overall, I'm super, super happy with this palette. At first, I was a little bit um, taken back by the price of it, but overall, I'm super impressed with it. I'm really, really glad I bought the palette. It's in a really good sturdy cardboard packaging as well, which we all like because we know we can get a little bit clumsy sometimes when it comes to other packaging. I also have a competition going at the minute, so I have a giveaway for £100 worth of makeup. All the details will be in the description box below. And also, if you head over to my Instagram, which is just at Coley Burton, all the details are over on there as well. If you want to know how I created this look, then please just keep watching. So I've actually already gone ahead and primed my lids just using the Revolution Pro full coverage full cover camouflage concealer you guys know i love this concealer and then i'm going to dip into the infamous palette the palette's actually bigger than i thought i'm going to pick up the shade foolish which is just a really subtle peach shade and this is going to be our initial transition shade so i'm just going to buff this in the crease and then any excess i'm going to take up to the brow bone Thank you. 
Then I'm going to take this like muted pale purple shade called Chant and I'm going to take this on the same brush. This is just the Makeup Geek Soft Dome Shadow Brush and I'm just going to pop this slightly lower than that pink and just blend them together. Then I'm just going to go in with this deeper purple shade which is called Wasted, which I am totally far from. And I'm just going to again put that a little bit lower and we're just building up the colour in the crease and on the outer corners. Then I'm just going to pick up the shade Liquor and this is just on a more precise um, Makeup Geek brush. This is a pointed crease brush and I'm just going to pack this on the outer and the inner corner and blend these upwards. Then I'm just going to take our initial brush and just blend all that together. Then on a clean fr fluffy, br fluffy brush, I'm just going to take that peach shade and just neaten everything up. Then just quickly, I'm going to go ahead and cut the crease using the Pro Coverage, what is this? The Revolution Pro Concealer and I'll be right back. Then I'm just going to pick up the yellow in the palette and I'm just going to place this all over that concealer. I did actually struggle to work with this yellow. I really found that I had to pack it on. So I started by just going in with a fluffy brush to set, like, set that concealer in place. And then I just went ahead and packed it on. It's more like a sunset sort of yellow rather than a bright yellow that it is in the pan. Then what I'm going to do is go back in with a few of the shades that we used. I'm going to go back in with that first peach shade we used and I'm just going to put this on that yellow just at the bottom and the sides. This is going to be like our initial colour to blend all this together. Then I'm going to go ahead and take that first purple shade we used which is called Chant which was the lighter purple shade. And I'm just going to put these two together and just slightly lower than we put that pink. Then I'm going to take that second darker purple shade which was wasted and I'm just going to again put this slightly lower and slightly more wider. Then on a small crease brush I'm going to take that darkest purple shade that we used which was liquor and I'm just going to put this on the very outer. I'm then going to go back in and build that yellow up just a little bit more just to make it pop. Then guys for highlight I'm going to go back into the Carnival palette and there is two highlighters so there is Sinner and there is Saint. Um, to me Sinner looks like it will be too dark, I'm just going to swatch them both. So I'm going to pick up Saint on a Real Technique setting brush and we're going to see how this goes. It's definitely subtler than I thought it would be. So Saint almost has like a pink sort of reflex undertone. I'm just going to pick up a little bit of Sinner, the darker shade, and I'm just going to put this at the top. 
Then I'm just going to dip into this shade here, which is called Moony. And I'm just going to pop this on the inner corner and also on the brow bone. That is a beautiful colour. So guys, thank you so, so much for watching. I really, really enjoyed making this video and I can't believe how fast this palette came. Overall, I'm super happy with it. I don't really have any complaints other than the fact that I thought the highlighters would be a lot more like blinding than they actually are, but they're still beautiful highlighters. It's a gorgeous palette. This is gonna be such a go-to palette. Don't be like put off by such the bright, by the bright colors because if you can see we've got this like really nice tealy section the blue section and then we have like a really nice brown section here so you can create some really neutral looks if you want to see me create a neutral look with that palette then please comment down below but that is it for this video guys i'll have all the products that i use linked down below don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel all that youtubery stuff that is it for this video and i will see you in my next video bye